I don't know. I mean, I, dude, you want to know about the personal conquest? And 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 uh, apologies if you if, if you've heard. No, this. please tell me. I was such a fan of Motley Crue when I was a kid. So yes, tell the story because I don't know if enough people heard this. This is a great story. And and, and my dad at the time we lived in Canada, uh-huh. living in Toronto. Um, my dad was, I believe, the president of Nabisco Canada. Okay. Um, Motley Crue's coming on Girls, Girls, Girls tour. The year is 1987. Okay. And Nabisco Canada has, I believe, multiple uh, skyboxes. In these, the arena. These, these luxury suites in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens okay. where the hockey team plays. Yep. And my dad knows how much I love Motley Crue. Uh-huh. And he knows nobody at Nabisco gives a crap <laughs> about a Motley Crue concert. So the Nabisco skyboxes are going to be empty. Dad comes to me and he says, son, I'm, you know, I'm going to do you solid. He says, Motley Crue's coming. He says, I'm going to take you. I got the Nabisco skybox wow. for us to enjoy the Motley Crue concert. And I say, oh, Dad, watching Motley Crue through a plate glass window sucks. (laughs) (laughs) And he says, all right, well, well, if you can get better tickets, then by all means, go for it. I didn't have a plan at the time. But the day before the concert... I see on the news that that the that they're just outraged. These these jerks, these rock stars coming to our city, they mm. behave like this. Whatever it was, they set a hotel room on fire. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I, they're I don't being know Motley Crew. Being Motley Crew, and they're they're in our town. There's just, there's just this piece on the news about the, these terrible people coming to the town, and the concerts the next day. So I'm thinking the concert's the next day. It's tomorrow. Right. And they're here now. Yeah. So they're in a hotel. Oh, there's an I opportunity. Just know it. They're yeah. in a hotel. And I got to find them. And and I, I'm such a diehard Motley Crue fan. They're all over my walls. I know that Nikki Six's real name isn't really Nikki Six. Oh, you knew. Frank Carlton Ferrano. Right. <laughs> you know, uh-huh. like, I know Vince, Vince Neal, his real name, Vincent Wharton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sadly, I know all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's epic. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, like, not going to check into a hotel as Nikki Six, right? But probably not going to check in as Frank Carlton Ferraro, right? You know, like uh, too many people like you know that. So I, so I just I thought, you know what, the manager, the manager, and meanwhile I'm 13 years old. I go run into my room, pull out my tape cassettes, and every single one look at manager. It says Doc McGee. Doc McGee, yeah. Doc McGee, and so I, I'm like, I'm there in a hotel under the name Doc McGee. And I go run into the kitchen and I pull out the yellow pages. <laughs> look up and, the hotel. And I, turn, I just, I just go to hotel. And I'm not cherry picking. Like, oh, they're going to be in a nice one. No. You just went through I start everyone. To the top of the list. Ooh. A. <laughs> a. <laughs> the tri- triple A hotel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and I literally, and it's 1987. They didn't even have call waiting yet. Uh, so my mom's pissed yeah. because I'm tying up the house phone. The concert was October. 25th but this is the day before right you know it's a 13 year old and october 25th was a sunday so this is saturday my dad's watching college football my mom's in the kitchen i'm sitting there calling hotel after hotel and when when the hotel picks up i say hello please put me through to doc mcgee's room please Uh my mom's just pissed because i'm tying up the house line she's She's hearing you say that a thousand times yeah yeah doc mcgee please annoying annoying. and she's like hey you 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 gotta knock this off and, and uh, I said, Mom, I'm calling Motley Crue. <laughs> right? Now, my dad, sitting there kind of like uh, noticing what's going on, he's watching college football. All he's ever wanted, and you could probably relate to this, all he's ever wanted was to see that spark, just yeah. to see yeah. some, some enthusiasm, just to see, the, to, to see me on fire for something. Right, right. And, and my dad says, Honey, He's calling Molly Crew. <laughs> you know? Were you yeah. like, finally, he's on yeah, my side? He's, yeah. on, he's on my side. And so I sit there for hours. Finally, uh, I'm guessing I'm two, three hours into it. Really? And uh, there was a false alarm with a different spelling for McGee. Uh, you know, but ultimately, I was patched through to a, a room. And the phone rang. This guy answers. And, and I say, hello, is that Doc McGee? And the guy says, nah, this is Doc's brother, Scott. Who is the, also who's on this? tour, yeah. Yeah, who's this? And I said, uh, 
as in Motley Crue. Like, I'm just kind of freaking out. Is, is the crew there? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right away, he's annoyed. He's, he's annoyed on the yeah. phone. He's like, all right, like, uh-huh. who is this? How'd you get this number? And I said, I just called every hotel in the Yellow Pages. Like, uh, like I'm looking for the crew. <laughs> you know? And he says, are you kidding me? Are you serious? That's awesome. <laughs> How would you, like, backstage passes? Shut up. Like, just from would, talking to Scott McGee. Scott or, McGee yeah. was just impressed. Yeah. The little kid called every hotel in the Yellow Pages. He put me on the list for backstage passes, tickets in the fifth or center, fifth row. And uh, I, my dad drove me to the show. We're in this cool media line. Your dad know the, now that you made it through and Doc McGee's brother? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then it was the next day. We're all prepared. Like, uh, we're in line with all these cool, like, you know, they got my pass with my name, an envelope with my name on it. The pass is inside. That's so great. Because we come in the media door. Everybody's got huge cameras and stuff. Like, I've got, like, my, my big boom box, which uh-huh. we bring to the sky box so that I can put it next to the speaker and boom yeah. like the concert. <laughs> I record the concert. My dad takes photos of me with Nikki Six uh-huh. and Tommy Lee. Oh, your dad went backstage, too? Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. I had two backstage passes. <laughs> So I've got like pictures from 1987. Tommy Lee and I are both kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I'm super prepubescent. It's just a rad story. Do you get to show them to them now? Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. It became full circle where yeah. the, the, like uh, you know they had they when they got back together in 2004. Like I announced them as being back together gotcha. like at this big event. You know, it's just so, so crazy great. and full circle. Like, they're, they're, they're the, the quotes on my first book, you yeah, know, yeah, on yeah. the cover, which is really rad. So, and so, after that, yeah. from that point on when I was 13, like, every crappy record, report card, every son, if you could just... <laughs> Put the effort <laughs> in as you did the Molly crew. Oh, that's so true. Yeah, your life would be so easy if you could just apply yourself. Yeah. If you could just so it just loomed over me as this annoying curse. Yeah, that, that's so that, true like, though. Like you've 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 demonstrated that you have you have the ability, the tenacity. Yeah. yeah, but 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 you're a loser. Yeah. <laughs>